Want to know something really weird about the thyroid? When doctors check for thyroid function, they don't actually check for the amount of thyroid hormone that's in your body. Instead, they check for an indirect marker. Let's talk about this right now. Here's what I mean. If your doctor wants to check your testosterone level, wh what do you think they're gonna order? They're gonna order your testosterone level, right? It makes sense. If they're gonna check your estrogen level, they order a test called estradiol, which is the most powerful estrogen. If they wanna check your progesterone, they check your progesterone level. If they wanna check your cortisol level, they check your cortisol level, right? Is this making sense now? The thyroid though, they don't treat the same way. If your doctor wants to check your thyroid, what they do is they order a test called the TSH, which stands for thyroid stimulating hormone. And this is produced in your brain. It's actually from your pituitary gland. But what's really weird or really strange about this is that all the other hormones I mentioned are also, they have a similar feedback loop just like the thyroid does. In other words, all of those hormones I just mentioned, progesterone, testosterone, cortisol, estrogen, they are all regulated from the perspective of your body in the exact same way. But when your doctor checks for those hormones, they check for the free levels. They don't do the same thing for the thyroid. And this might be one of the main reasons that thyroid patients continue to have symptoms despite getting the right lab test, or at least the right lab test. If you were to ask your doctor to check your free thyroid hormone levels, they would probably give you resistance. In other words, they wouldn't want to. They will tell you that the only test you need to evaluate thyroid function is the TSH. But again, that leaves us in a conundrum because there's so many thyroid patients who have problems with their thyroid because they're only getting checked for that TSH. One of the things that I advocate for is the addition of the free thyroid hormone lab test when you get the TSH. So if you're gonna get your TSH ordered, that's fine. Just make sure you also are checking for your free thyroid hormone levels. And when you get your free thyroid hormone levels, in addition to your TSH, you have a much clearer picture of what's happening with your thyroid. In my opinion, that should be the default move. It should be to check your free thyroid hormone levels like you do every other hormone in your body when you wanna know how much of that hormone do you have in your body. From a practical standpoint, what that means is that you need to be checking your free T3 and your free T4 when you get your thyroid labs tested. These represent the free and active thyroid hormones floating around in your body that are capable of doing all the things that you want your thyroid hormone to do. If you do not check for these things, then you have no idea how much is actually in there. If you're relying on the TSH, it's just telling you how well your brain is communicating with your thyroid gland. It's not telling you how much thyroid hormone is being produced by the thyroid gland. And that's one of the problems with just looking at the TSH.